Cooking doesn't have to be difficult. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome to Cooking With- You know how like every Yu-Gi-Oh player is either a Dark Magician Stan or a Blue Eye Stan? Well, I'm definitely on the Dark Magician side, I would say. And this is why I thought for my next video here in the kitchen, we're gonna be trying to make Dark Magician playable. And I gotta tell you, even with all the support and all the love that you think Dark Magician gets every single set, this deck is, is hard to make competitive, right? Currently, there's like a way to make it competitive, but today we're gonna try here in the kitchen. Again, I saw your comments liking the this format, so I'm doing it again. There's a few things we need to get out of the way first, though, right? I have some things here. So first of all, we need to open these up because I've been saving them for a while. I've, <laughs> I've been opening a few uh, Legendary Duelist packs recently. And yeah, Soul Servant, this was once such an expensive card, but it's so good looking, right? It's incredible. So we need to be opening a few of these to get them fresh. You know, here in the kitchen, we eat fresh and we, this is as fresh as you can get when it comes to cardboard, right? So three Soul Servant is gonna be something that we use today. And again, also another legis, uh, leg Legendary Duelist 3 promo is the Dark Magicians. A card that I always thought, it was sort of like a Mandela effect. I thought this card was better than it actually is. It's actually not that good, to be honest. It's really not. And we're gonna be using these, obviously. There's another thing that we need to get out of the way as well, which is which Dark Magician do you use, you know? That's a, a dilemma. First of all, I personally really like the, the red one, the Arcana Dark Magicians. I'm not a huge anime or manga guy, but something about the red ones feels right, and the Speed Duel Secrets also look really good. I also have the OG ones, not here though. But there's also like, Dark Magician has high rarity, and I think it's gonna be cool to use different arts of Dark Magician. So I think we're gonna go with the QCRs. I wanna play two today in today's build, I think these are gonna be the ones that I wanna use, to be honest. Now, something that, that we also need to get out of the way, so first of all, we're gonna sleeve up a few cards here, right? We need to sleeve up the Soul Servants that are gonna be a key component to our success, right? It's gonna be very crucial to see this card because it gives you such a good, like this card works so, so well within the context of Dark Magician. We also are playing Normal Summon Alistair Effect. This is such a good Normal Summon Engine because we don't actually have a lot of Normals and we're actually cutting down on the Normals of the deck. And we are playing only, basically only four Normal Summons in 43 cards, right? So it's actually fine. We need to be sleeving up this the Dark Magicians, obviously. We're gonna put it in our WCQ sleeves just because everything else is already in those sleeves. And then I like to keep the cards extra protected with this uh, clear Dragon Shield one. It makes everything look uh, kind of sick with the texture. So I have my whole Dark Magician stuff here. I have the deck list right in front of me. We're gonna take out a few things that we need. We need one internal soul. Uh, we're not using navigation. We do want to use dark magical circles, maybe another rarity, secrets, one of them for sure. Ebon, I think the other Ebon is the one we want. Um, let's see if we can find it later on. We need, oh, I actually have mana. That's cool. We're not gonna be playing Dark Magician Girl today. I could not find a way to fit that card in, in a way that actually works. One of this, one of Artemis, cool that it's in the deck, one of Illusion. Uh, Souls, we're probably gonna take another rarity. One Apprentice here. No Piercing the Darkness, one Dark Magical Circle. One Tamias, and one Salvation. We actually have a different kind of Salvation in our deck. Let's go all the way to the end. Yes, we are using these, baby. We are using these. These just look amazing. So three of this and one of the normal summon only one this is why we're playing a different engine one magicalized fusion three souls of course and salvation 
This is what we're gonna use from the Dark Magician cards. So Dark Magician has gotten a lot of waves of support over the years. It's gotten a lot of love. I think probably the two most influential cards were Souls, like Magician Souls was definitely a stepping stone for the deck. Just because it's such an incredible card, it was played in Spiral, actually, it, the engine itself could make decks compete on their own. And Soul Servant was another card that kind of like was, okay, this allows the deck to be, to have some synergy within itself, right? But besides that, even like with boss monsters like Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, which we are playing, it's just not, there's not a clear game plan, right? The boss monsters are like kind of scattered, to be honest, and it's not super consistent in which way you wanna go. So today we're gonna to be combining it with other engines, just as a complementary engines, because I think that the main power of what you can do with Dark Magicians is draw a ton of cards. And this is something that Dark Magician does really, really well. Oh, and one other card that I forgot, this guy. BLS is a Yugi Shada, but it's also a really good card in Dark Magician in general. It's just a solid card to play. I think we're uh, finally ready to go. Let's get into it. Deck list, and then as always, we're gonna, we're gonna play this deck. We're gonna show you how this runs, and we'll try to do this pretty realistically, because to be honest, like, this deck is, it works, but it gets carried a lot, but what's, you know, by a lot of different things in the deck that are not necessarily Dark Magician. So we are playing two vanilla. The reason for that is that we're playing a card called Magicalized Fusion, which could sometimes banish your Dark Magician, and you would probably want it back at some point, or at least another one to just have, right? Um, we're playing a, a very good engine right now that is called uh, Fiendsmith. It gives the deck something to lean onto. It gives it a little bit more bodies to make more plays. And it also gives it a possibility to send more spells with Magician Souls because, you know, track besides being a spell, Requiem can attach itself and become an equip spell. So it's advantageous. And also it gives the deck, again, the deck doesn't really have any boss monsters besides Dragoon and you want to be able to end on more than one thing in today's metagame, right? One Druze, one Magna, and one Baldrick. Very good, just like generic card, level sixes. They are darks, they are dragons, which we don't have a lot in this deck. And we need to see some dragons in order to get to Dragoon, right? Dragoon is a very good boss monster in this deck. You want to be seeing more dragons. And these have so much more utility than just being dragons that it makes sense for us to, to play them. And then another engine that is actually really relevant, I think, is the Wanted and the Abelstar engine. So why do we play specifically this? And we also play this, of course. So obviously more spells, more draw power, and a level seven dark spellcaster. This is a spellcaster engine, it's a spell engine, and it gives you access to a card you need to target, a level seven or higher spellcaster monster that you control, right? you get to basically either make it unaffected or pop every monster whose attack is less than it on your opponent's field. This is Arciella. It's a Sinful Spoils card. So any of your boss monsters is gonna be, gonna be a level seven or higher spellcaster, and this is gonna be an additional interruption on the board. So this is why we're playing this card again. Good engine, gives you a lot of card advantage, but also has some ties. And then lastly, Alistair, the Invoker. Spellcaster engine, once again. Spell engine, once again. Gives you a magical meltdown that you can send from Magician Souls. And of course, Mechaba is another boss monster that is generic that you can end on in this deck. It's a machine, but Alistair itself is a spellcaster. You always need those. Now for the Dark Magician stuff, the, what we showed before. Three Magician Souls is really like a good backbone to this deck. And then as a package, we're also playing three preparations and only one illusion. Because again, we rather have more spell cards that we can send and draw cards from. And this card you don't, like you could summon it, theoretically, it's a monster negate, right? But you know, you rather just draw more cards, yeah? And of course, Soul Servant, 
excellent card, really, really good. Gets you a draw, gets you a spell, gets you a Dark Magician card, gets your engine running. One Apprentice, one Tamias. It's actually a really good card, to be honest, but you don't want to break on it too much because you do need to spell send a Spellcaster, right? But this becomes free if you have Diabellstar in circulation, if you have Alistair in circulation. Spellcaster, you can send, you summon this, that's the cost of special summoning it, and then it's basically a Cartesia. Not a quick effect, but a Cartesia. And it gets you to Dragoon or any one of your fusions. And then only one rod searches any of your Dark Magician spells. But you definitely don't want to see too many of this. All right? It searches you like a few specific cards, but but it's not it's not amazing. Honestly, we didn't want, want to play three. And then for the spells, Magicalized Fusion, I think it's great. It's a Miracle Fusion for Dark Magician. Salvation, another spell that stays on the field that you can send and gets you to Eternal Soul, which is a solid card. It can, you can create a pretty neat lock with it that we'll show in a second. One circle, it's not really a starter, so you don't want to be maxing out. One secrets to fusion summon or ritual summon. And then one Eternal Soul makes your monsters, your Dark Magicians unaffected. And there's a cool lock that you can do with one of your fusions here. Quickly to the extra deck. We go, um, only three Dark Magician fusions. One The Dark Magician draws you a card, pretty neat. One Dragoon, the best boss monster of the deck, honestly. And then this one protects your spell and traps. So this card plus the Eternal Soul, right? Makes it unaffected. This protects this. It's kind of unoutable, to be honest. It becomes a Towers. And then we are playing uh, one Mechaba and one Necro. This card is beautiful, and I wanted to play it because I like pretty cards. Then we have one Caesar. Sorry, I mean, <laughs> you know, we got to do something, right? One Lick Spider, important since we are dealing with Vanillas. One Requiem, one Moon, one Little Knight, one Mascarena, one Artemis. And Artemis is mainly for Alistair, right? Selene, and Access Code. This is it. Selene is actually insane. Um, something cool that we found out in testing is that the draw effect of the Dark Magicians, once a spell resolves, you get to draw once per turn, but soft. So you can technically draw one card, link it off to Selene, summon it back, activate another spell, draw another card. Boom. We're going to be testing it now. We're going to be doing a test hand. We're going to be shuffling and seeing how this deck runs. We need, hopefully, access to a lot of engines in this deck, but you know, I'm not I'm not gonna say that this deck is gonna be like a meta contender, you know, but this is as close as you can get it to meta while playing the cards that you like in a very limited fashion. You saw that we didn't skimp on any of the Dark Magician cards. However, like we're not playing three Dark Magical Circle because it's just like in testing and I was testing this deck a lot, I swear to God, just rough, man. <laughs> Sometimes it could get rough, it's just like, I can't push, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Let's see what we have here as a hand that we can play. We got Preparation of Rights, Wanted. We have Tamias, which is like a soft brick, but maybe not in this hand. Soul Servant, and lastly, Magical Meltdown, right? So let's start off by going through the motions and gaining as much advantage as we can here. We're gonna go for Meltdown first which is going to add us a copy of uh, good old boy Alistair, the Invoker from deck. Okay, this is what we're going to be using our normal summon for. We're going to normal summon it and obviously grab us a copy of Invocation, which we play too in this deck. So now this is the normal like Mechaba combo that you can do to insulate your combo. You link off the Alistair into an Artemis, right? Magistus Moon Maiden, and then Invocation banishes them too, and summons the Mechaba, which is already great. You already have Monster Negates, Spell Negates, because now you're going to banish, uh, you're going to shuffle back the Invocation to the deck, and this will bring you back the Alistair from Banished to hand. So essentially, we have five cards in hand, 
and already we have technically an Omni Negate, Spell and Monster Negate in this situation. I think I'm gonna go ahead and activate Wanted here to grab myself a copy of Bellstar. And then Bellstar, uh, let's see, let's, let's think about this for a minute because maybe there's a way to play this. Um, I wanna get as many, you know, as, as many cards in rotation as possible. So I'm gonna go for Preparations, which will grab me the Ritual. Yes. And then what I'm gonna do is activate the Ritual, which will add me, I think in this scenario, Souls is definitely like the, the best way to go around it. And it puts a card from the hand to the top and we're gonna just put itself, right? I'm gonna go ahead and special summon the souls by sending one of the Dark Magicians to the graveyard. Which one should we send? Probably this one, right? So we already have a draw off of Soul Servant because we have a Dark Magician in Grave. And now what we could do is go ahead and summon the Bell Star using the Alistair, I think. We still have a monster in hand. Activate Bellstar and set ourselves a copy of Arcelia. Okay. Now we want to draw two cards. So I'm going to shuffle the deck here. And I'm thinking whether we should stack the deck maybe with Soul Servant first, right? Because we already have it. So I think it could actually be benefit a little bit more beneficial. So this is set to the field, right? Soul Servant can place, I would say probably, we would want a fusion summon, right? So we can go with either secrets or magicalized fusion. Or salvation too, but I don't know. I want I want to make dragoon. Like this is this is what's important to me. So I think I'm gonna go with, ma with magicalized fusion, just so we can make dragoon a little bit later. So this go goes to the top of the deck with soul servant, and then we banish the soul servant to draw one, and we will draw into it because we have one dark magician in the graveyard, right? So that's great already um, and then this is what we have in grave we're gonna get another draw of wanted souls effect we're gonna be sending these two and we're gonna be drawing two more cards another wanted and another meltdown that's funny um, then we're probably gonna go ahead and send the souls to summon the Tamias here send one spellcaster or one spell and trap that mentions it from hand or face of field to special summon this card and we're gonna be using it a little bit later. Now, we're gonna be linking those off into Moon. And we're gonna link off Moon for Requiem. Now we get a draw off of Wanted. We can put back the Rosalia. Banish the Wanted. Put the Rosalia back to the deck. Draw one card. It's an engraver, it's actually pretty good. Before we summon, we're gonna get the engraver, just more bodies. And get tracked, get Lurry. Awesome. Now, we can, actually maybe we keep the Lurry, I think. I think we keep the Lurry in hand and maybe discard the, the Wanted here. Maybe we discard the Wanted. Because now we will have a monster in the gate with Dragoon. Magicalized Fusion. Go ahead and banish Tamias and Dark Magician to summon Dragoon. And then essentially Requiem will get us to everything else that we need in terms of like engravers and stuff. So it summons an engraver, it equips from grave, it sends 
for Necro. And then Engraver shuffle back another Engraver, or maybe the Moon to summon it back. And we can, of course, make Caesar now. Let's place them nicely on the board to make a Caesar. Now, this is what you're going to be left with, right? It's sort of like a combination of these engines. You basically use the, the Dark Magician engine to draw into more cards, into more engines. This is how we got, like, a Lurie discarded from Dragoon will actually special summon itself back to the field, right? We have follow-up because we have cards in Grave and we have, of course, Meltdown that we can recur. And, you know, it's just one test hand, obviously. This deck, in my opinion, has some merits, but I think what this video really, really shows me, at least, is how much this deck needs support. Not has support, needs support. Because if you look at the grand scheme of things, like besides Soul Servant and Souls that have really, really good interaction with one another, like the everything else is like really outdated. So it needs like a new rank seven or a new rank six, right? We need more, a new rank six spellcaster because there's only like one in the game, just one. And Maybe it needs some Link Monsters, to be honest. Like, Dark Magician needs Link Monsters. Like, this board is fine, it's kind of generic, right? Two cards in hand, we invested a lot into the board, even though we drew so many cards. But it feels like, besides Soul, there's nothing that really gives you, like, a blatant advantage. Let me know what you think. Your comments below will be really appreciated if you like this type of format. And maybe give a Dark Magician uh, deck a try sometime soon. You could find it relatively enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.